In this video, I will tell you how to write a good research purpose. For writing a good research purpose, you must know that it should be in line with the research issue. For example, if the research issue is that nobody ever found a medicine of HIV AIDS and many of the people in this world are dying due to this disease. So your purpose of research could be either to solve this problem or to address this problem. If your purpose is to solve this problem, you will conduct a research and come up with a medicine to solve this problem. However, many of the people due to their limited resources and inability to conduct a, a proper research that can give a full solution to the problem, usually address the problem rather than finding a complete solution. For example, To address this particular problem, one can conduct a research with a purpose to find an ingredient only that can be used in a medicine of curing HIV AIDS. So, okay, coming back to the example which I have taken in my previous videos so just a recap so what I found that a good research background have to be ending it's not like have to be ending usually ends with a practical research issue so this is uh, just, just a clarification this is not an ending statement of a research background rather than this this is an ending paragraph statement you can add more for example proving a point why Malaysia is behind in e-business growth so you can use figures anything else to prove your point anyhow okay uh, the ending paragraph statement of a problem statement was that there appears to be no clear research on mediating role of trust in the relationship between perceived risk and purchase intention so just taking this box with me into the next slide okay by seeing this problem statement I would say the purpose of the study could be to examine the mediating role of trust in the relationship between perceived risk and purchase intention. Now bear in mind, okay, let me title it first, purpose of the research okay this is the purpose of the research if the problem okay research gap or issue is this one 
so because I'm giving you an idea on a very beginning level but in some studies the explanation or clarification of the purpose of study requires some more specification so in this way usually what people write is in fact our research pro sorry research objectives and sometime the research questions so it's up to you whether you want to use research questions or research objectives mostly the way of description is different but the means are same Okay, for example, research objective, you see this statement again, and, uh, okay, I would take this here right now, so, I would say, okay, because I need some more space, so, I will make it uh, I hope so it's still visible to you so that was the research purpose and to examine the mediating role of trust in the relationship between perceived risk so now in the literature then can be several sort of perceived risk when I, for example perceived financial risk so this become our first objective so you must define that all these components of perceived risk are taken from the literature review so you need to do a complete review of the literature so we will discuss this later on so right now we are just concerned with the point okay so let's make it I'll say one and uh, research objective two okay then it could be for example perceive time risk and uh, then it could be number three it could be perceive for example perceive performance risk and etc so if you have to write the research questions this can be pretty much in line with the research objective for example if it can be uh, to examine the So I would say is there any mediating role of trust in in the relationship between perceived the first one is financial risk and purchase intention okay this is this is the first one and uh, so because it ends in the question so I would take this again so this will be 
perceive time risk and uh, this would be perceive performance risk so if we have three research objectives it would be three research questions but usually what people write is either research objective or research questions but it depends on the nature of study whatever you you are doing so but please uh, just remember that these research objectives and questions are usually defined based on the literature review so you must have a strong literature supporting the fact that these objectives are well justified so